What's the most influential city in hip hop? Before you answer, wait, Netflix has a new series that's about to throw gasoline on the debate. Rapture dives into the lives of nine influential rap artists at the peak of their careers. It's like chef's table for hip hop and it puts a spotlight on the genre's most influential artists and the cities that shape them. Here are just a few legends and their hometowns featured in Netflix's Rapture. The series takes us to Queensbridge, which isn't just the birthplace of some of hip hop's greatest artists like Roxanne Shante, Marley Marl, and Mob Deep, but it's also an iconic venue where hip hop culture evolved and grew into a global phenomenon. One of this project's biggest stars is Nas, and Rapture gives us an unprecedented, intimate view into the life of hip hop mogul as we've never seen him before. Like when Nas's brother Jungle tells us the story of how he saved him from a particularly emotional and intriguing predicament. I was gonna supply these dudes and my fucking brother called me. I took the drugs like, fuck it, I'm gonna just meet him. He just want me to run around the city. He books a flight. We going to Atlanta. We jump right in that car. We are on our way to an airport. I got a shitload of stuff in my pockets. So now I'm looking out the window like, I have to drop this shit. Nas went from the rough streets of Queensbridge to mega stardom, but he never forgets his roots. And in Rapture, we get a first hand look at how Nas uses his powerful position in hip hop to launch the career of next generation talent and Queensbridge native, Dave East. I see similarities with me and Dave because he comes from the curb, you know, and he's like, I think he's the next biggest rap artist in the world. Rapture takes us through Queens before landing on another mecca of hip hop, the ATL. Atlanta gave us Killer Mike, Ludacris, Outkast, Young Jeezy, Gucci Mane, and 2 Chains to name just a few, but Rapture focuses its lens on T.I. and Rapture gives us an unflinching look into how he evolved into the artist and activist that he is today. In fact, watching T.I. express how he feels about his activism and the rights of black youth in America are some of the most moving moments on television you'll watch all year. I'm looking for another opportunity to do better, do more. I'm speaking for the people in the community because if somebody don't speak up, our liberties and way of life can no longer exist. Regardless of if you can change anything or do anything about it or not. It's intimate clips like these that show us how Rapture takes a behind the scenes view into the lesser known sides of some of our favorite hip hop legends. Like legends who hail from O-Town. Born and bred in Oakland, California, g Easy cites his hometown as a major source of sonic inspiration. Like Queensbridge, Oakland has long enjoyed a thriving music scene that spawned iconic acts such as Tupac, Too Short, E-40, and Del the Funky Homo Sapien. Oakland may be a fundamental part of G-Eazy's roots, but his sound has taken him all over the world, and in Rapture, we get to follow him along his first trip to South America for an epic, larger-than-life concert tour. The car was like, transcends. Music is the universal language. But g Easy never stops, working around the clock to bring his music to his fans all over the world, and the pace is grueling and breakneck. Whether it's massive stadium shows, intensely fast-paced fan meet and greets, or hour after hour recording in the studio, Rapture lets us ride shotgun for one of rap's biggest influencers and stars. These are just a few of the cities and legends explored in the new Netflix series. From New Orleans to New York to North Carolina and beyond, Rapture presents us with the locations that shape today's biggest hip hop stars. But which city is the most influential to hip hop? Be sure to check out Rapture, all episodes now streaming on Netflix. For Hit Fix on Uproxx, he's Steve Vasquez. And she's Miri Jedikin.